Hey guys, Ming here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to model this uh, structural trust. So, okay, so I'm going to just um, do a screenshot and I'll show you how to model it. Okay, so I'll close this file. So, uh, family. So, go create a new family. Um, structural trust. And open. Okay, so first I'm just going to change this uh, length and height. So I'll just probably change to six meter and one meter, not hundred, something like that. So okay, so now let's go to this screenshot. So this one, so um, is a scalian roof. So we will have this shape and then this bit is for the box color and then this is top. So what we are going to have is so um, see this web so we will going to draw here so these three will be equal and then of course in the center as well so it will be equal equal as well if you and then we will have so this will be the uh, overall height so in this family it will be trust height this one okay and uh, this at this end so if I extend this long this to here and this will be the um, lower height okay so I'm going to call it uh, lower height okay lower height and then this will be of course box color width BW and also uh, the depth box color depth um, what else so let's start and also we will have a, so this will be the pitch the pitch of the roof okay so let's go to this family mm, first we're going to we'll just move this here so here oops go there mm, it's not working anyway Okay, so now so we need create a few reference plans so lower height so I'll just roughly draw it here dimension here here this will be the lower height let's create a pr parameter LH lower height instance okay and then box color with RP, RP reference plan the shortcuts is RP reference plan so then this one so this will be box color with okay instance okay and also the box color depth is from the top of the lower edge which is here create another reference plan and uh, create this parameter so box color depths and okay so now let me just connect from this point to the top point here okay so I'm just going to connect these two points with a reference line okay reference line and uh, this point and also this point so um what well, what's next so now we need some uh, more reference plan for these okay so so one two three four five five and also you will notice that this this one so center reference this is a, a default um center reference plan but we are not going to use this I'm going to temporarily hide it H H 
Okay, so and then I'll just draw five reference fans. Two, three, four, and five. And dimension, so from this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and equal. Okay, so now we have all these, we can uh, we can start to uh, create the all the web. So let's start with the web. So click on the web. So the first one from here to the top. Okay, so don't worry too much about the link. Uh, the to lock them. I I don't think we need that. We need to lock them. So so the next one go this to here, which is this one. Yeah, and then this one from here to here, and then go from here to here, and here to here, and then continue, and this one to to here. Okay, so um, and then another web vertical from here to here so now we finish all the web and then create the top core from this point to actually to to here we are going to stop here so because that's the cross cutter so I will stop here and also the bottom bottom from here to here Okay, so now we need to. Uh, let me just adjust the height and the depth of the box cutter first. So instead of 600, I'll just change it to 300 for now. And also the depth, I'll change it to 150. So now I'll just use web for this. Okay, so web from this, this point to here and also from here to here. Um, so actually you can create, if you want to, you can just add another parameter and just go up. So if you want to uh, have, um, you know, some structure for the parapet wall, but uh, I'll just, um, I'll just quickly do it. Okay, so another reference plan. So from this point, just go up to create another uh, dimension here. So I'll call it... Um, um, what do I call it? Parapet height, pH, and okay, and then I'll just extend. I'll just drag this to up to this. Okay, so now let's have a test. So um, I'll temporarily temporarily hide this reference line, so we can see all the um, elements we have. So go family, go to family types. And go drag down to dimension. So I'll just just drag it to here. So let's try. So maybe I'll change that to five meter overall with apply. All good. Very good. And then maybe change this to six hundred high. So if I change this to six hundred. Hmm. All good. So now uh, I'll just change this back to one meter. So it's easier for me to. Do the angle and okay so now we need to create an angle parameter because it's easier it's easier to control this pitch by um, an angle parameter than use too hard okay so yeah so let's go to family sorry go to family types oops family types create a new par parameter let's call it pitch ch and change the type of parameter to um, angle instance okay so I'll just type in 10 for now and then we will need a, a, a formula for for the not for the pitch for the truss height okay so so I'll show you so if I drag if I drag, if I draw this line to here, so this will be the so yeah this one's pitch, and this is lower height, which means this is lower height as well. So H, 
equals so the truss height equals lower h which is this one plus plus the uh, sorry this one uh, what's this one truss length so the truss length times uh, tangent this pitch so trust oh sorry t uh, uh, times tangent uh, pitch okay so this is a formula so we need to give it to the trust height so let's go back to Revit family types so trust height equals lower h plus um, plus plus a uh, truss length times tangent pitch so I'll just add another bracket here so now as you can see the truss height will be uh, a calcul uh, it will be all automatic calculated and then you just need to give give the lower height at end of the pitch to uh, determine the the truss the shape of the truss okay so okay so now we can see this is a 10 degree pitch so and so if if we want to change this lower height so we can change change it here maybe uh, 200 here or maybe uh, 300 and then if change the pitch of the roof okay so now let's have a test so create create a project and uh, I'm going to draw some wall and go to 3d view I'll change the wall to 3 meters high and then I'll place this I'll place this truss low into the project and I'll place it on top of this wall okay so um, so how do I place the truss on top of the wall uh, maybe I'll just go to floor, floor plan and uh, go truss truss here maybe uh, I'll do it like this and let's have a look in 3d views uh, oh, sorry um, we need to load the beams so these are the default def default beam so UB so uh, let's go to trust beam edit type load so it's under structural framing so go to structural framing and wood um, I'm just going to pick this one and uh, I'll just pick this uh, size okay so and OK and then cancel and click on this truss edit type so change all the uh, structural frame type to the one we just load so I'll change all them to the timber size and apply OK so now click on the truss again so see it's on um, um, the, we need to change the height of this this typing so now we have this trust so um, actually you can see that's uh, maybe like uh, not quite right but uh, this is not and uh, you can just adjust them to just unpin the framing and then you can drag them to roughly so I'm not going to show you how exactly well, how to do it you can even use um, like code or these things but uh, I'll leave it to you so I'll and then let me so so say you can adjust the everything here so click on this truss and say um, truss height don't don't worry about truss height um, you just need to change this lower height so for example lower height maybe change it to 400 so you can see the whole truss go up and also if we want to change the pitch go up and uh, 
P what's pH power power pad height. So you can change this height as well to so go up. Uh, box color width maybe uh, 500 width. Yeah, depth 200 maybe. Yeah. So yeah, so um, you probably need to adjust them and then somehow you do all the do the coping stuff. But uh, I'll remove. Yeah, maybe cope something like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Um, uh, let me know if, if you have any questions, um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.